Hello guys, I'm going to explain you today about the OET, some tips of the previous exam, the last Saturday. In the last Saturday, what question they have asked is about the, in the letter writing, they asked about the uh, community health nurse and that patient has re readmitted. At initial moment, they came with the pain over the leg side and again, they were noticed with the uh, fractured and then they provided the plaster and then again second visit uh, patient uh, came at the hospital and during second visit what diagnosis they have made is again hip uh, hip fractures uh, then patient was not willing for the surgery and all and then patient wanted to go home instead of uh, admitting so that was a question asked in the exam. So in that case, what student has uh, got doubt in this aspect is they don't know which one diagnosis to write. In that case, the most current one, the present current one need to be mentioned in the OET. Whenever you are having a question uh, with the two diagnoses or two presented cases, that that time you need to choose the present moment mean at the present moment whatever condition patient is having you need to mention in the purpose or the introduction part and the uh, initial moment visit you can mention in the present history uh, that i like to mention you guys and then please uh, do not get Get uh, over excited or the over nervous when you are getting the question in the letter writing. Just be cool and read the uh, tux. The tux, the question will be there, right? Whom you have to write the letter. That that aspect you read clearly and then go and read from the beginning patient name till the discharge plan. And then you will get the idea what things you need to write. And according to the tux, not I'm saying about the note, whenever you are getting the tux, write a letter to this one, read carefully and they will clearly mention about what things to be mentioned and what things to be done. So in that aspect, you can just take the idea and write the letter and extract the needed things from the uh, letter notes the note what uh, they have specified social history many things they will specify okay but you need to extract the right one instead of taking all the things many of the students what they will do is if they have been asked with the dietitian they are writing the many experts related to the doctor cases um, vital signs and investigation which is not necessary this aspect you can write if you are sending the letter to the doctor or referral letter to the doctor not the dietitian not the physiotherapy not the occupational therapy not the social worker so social workers some students are also having a doubt social worker means you need to write the social history and if the medical history is correlated with this aspect then you need to mention initially you need to mention social history and you need to link together the patient present history clear and in case patient past history okay patient has had the asthma a uh, long time back and still uh, present means you need to mention that in a present history in in a proper manner not in the random wise some student what they will do is they will mention in the introduction as well uh, in my case i like to recommend not to prefer in the introduction because always introduction need to provide uh, short and precise and if you are able to provide the exact information in the introduction especially like the present case what has happened to the patient that you need to mention a medical history you can write patient has had asthma since 19 whatever things is mentioned in the letter then uh, patient uh, presented with this this case therefore he was diagnosed with the condition clear you need to mention in such a way with the past and present history both are there means you connected i'm saying okay if it is related then only you need to mention in such a way and second thing what has uh, in a previous exam they have asked about the preeclampsia which is a disease condition but i like to recommend all of the students before your exam try to read some of the research word which is very important and try to take the meaning of them so you will not suffer much and uh, if significant is there most common or the most the most or common one or uh, most common uh, like this or uh, insignificant mean it is the opposite or many research word are there that um, I, I cannot say now and then I'm going with the important things prevalence is there placebo bias unbiased these all words you need to know and proportion like a, th a third 
a half means 50 a third mean 30 and uh, uh, 25 means one fourth and like this one fifth means 20 so you need to know all this aspect in late 90s in late 80s you need to know a decade double decade okay these things and uh, listening are as usual you need to be you need to be very uh, concentrate and uh, you, you need, should not be so nervous and reading was pre-eclampsia it was disease condition i don't think so it's a big deal so it was a bit easy so please student prepare some vocabs and learn the vocabs and try to uh, recall during your practice or before the exam please try to think over and do not hesitate and just before one day of your exam try to relax and revise all the letter writing revise the vocabs whatever you have learned and don't get attached with the reading again near to your exam because it brings some kind of nervous and you may get agitated during the exam as well so in order to uh, save your energy try to get relaxed before the exam and try to sleep early and take maximum of your own time so that much and speaking and all are normal as usual and please you may get the home visit because it's uh, they will give you the four different types of and it it depends on your luck if you are getting the home visit your introduction should be different not like like the other cases and all in hospital cases and all you can introduce in a general way based on the known and unknown case but in a home visit always it is a known case in that there is a different aspect you need to follow first thing is you should identify the patient home and second thing is you need to identify the patient name then only introduce yourself and from where you are in case in the case note is clearly mentioned about the locality means you can say i'm the nurse of this locality or you can say i'm the district nurse if you are from the hospital or you are you were told by the doctor from the hospital you need to tell i'm registered nurse clear and after that you need to uh, you need to know whether patient is available to talk with you or not are you available at the moment if he says yes then you need to ask the permission to proceed further or if you are going inside the home you can say May. is it okay if i come inside for our conversation so this aspect you need to follow in the uh, home visit and please do not forget this aspect and also letter writing try to extract the right thing in your letter thank you so much